Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've done multicolor 3D printing, you know the pain I'm talking about. Those little noodles of regret that get spat out for every color change. Printer poop, purge waste, whatever you want to call it, the biggest problem plaguing multicolor printing. I've been avoiding multicolor prints for years despite absolutely loving them. Why? Because seeing 500 plus color changes in the slicer results just fills me with dread. All of that wasted filament, all that extra time, it's never been worth it to me. But the H2C changes everything. Bamboo's new Vortex system eliminates purge waste entirely through a revolutionary hot end swapping approach. Today I'm walking you through three real world print tests that prove this thing actually works and why it's going to change multicolor printing forever. All right, let's go ahead and dive into what makes this printer so special. For the past three years, Bamboo has been working on solving the purge waste problem that's plagued every multicolor printer since the X1 launch in 2022. They spearheaded and streamlined multicolor printing, sure, but it came at a cost of those wasteful printer poops. The engineering challenge here is fascinating. When you're switching between colors or materials, contamination happens at the hot end. So where do you make the swap? Some manufacturers put multi-tool heads on a shared gantry to avoid disconnections, but you sacrifice build space. Others squeeze more nozzles into a single tool head, which is more compact but kills your print speed with such a bulky assembly. Bamboo took a different approach. They focus right at the source of contamination the hot end itself. The Vortex system swaps out the entire hot end instead of purging materials through it. Here's how it works. You get six interchangeable hot ends that swap automatically during printing. The system uses contactless wireless technology, no cables or pogo pins to wear out after thousands of swaps. Instead, a built-in chip syncs with the printer wirelessly to transmit power and real-time data like temperature and filament type. The heating is where things get really impressive. Induction heating brings each nozzle to temperature in just eight seconds, compared to the traditional system where you're waiting 30 to 90 seconds for purging and temperature changes. Setting this up in Bamboo Studio is surprisingly straightforward. You map your colors to specific nozzles and the software handles the rest. The algorithm automatically assigns the ideal filament to hot end relationship to minimize waste while optimizing your print. This is a complete departure from the traditional AMS workflow. Instead of pushing different materials through the same hot end and purging between each change, you're using dedicated hot ends for specific materials. It's like having multiple paintbrushes instead of washing the same one over and over. The reliability has been rock solid in my testing. Zero missed picks after over 5,000 hot changes. And I haven't needed to do any maintenance on the Vortex changer. The contactless design was crucial here. Bamboo specifically avoided cables and pogo pins because they knew the system would be swapping out thousands of times per print. Each hot end can actually store filament information automatically. So when you load a specific material, it gets matched to that correct hot end without any user intervention. This is huge for valuable engineering materials where consistency matters. When you pair this with multi AMS units, you can theoretically print up to 24 different materials at once. Four AMS units with four filaments each plus six hot ends gives you incredible flexibility for custom multi-material projects. The whole system maintains the high performance standards of the H2 series. You're still getting 350 degree hot end temperatures for engineering materials and thousands millimeter per second max beads and the massive build volume. The Vortec integration doesn't compromise the core printing capabilities. What really impressed me is how Bamboo solved the mechanical challenges. The hot end changer mechanism is sleek and compact, enough that you only lose a small amount of build volume compared to the H2S. 15 millimeters on the side of the build plate. That's very reasonable trade-off for eliminating purge waste entirely. The calibration process is fully automatic and beginner friendly, of course. The system calibrates nozzle offset within 25 microns. I was so impressed with how simple this entire machine is that I created a separate video where I hand painted a witch model in Bamboo Studio for my daughter, then I sent it to the printer. I recommend checking that video out if that interests you. So apparently Bamboo Studio has been working on the H2C Vortex system for three years now. This is why Bamboo Lab continues to impress me. They not only revolutionized the industry with the products such as the X1 Combo and the AMS years ago, but they also continue to improve and bring new innovations to our amazing hobby and honestly, I think they nailed it. Now let's talk about the real world performance because theory is one thing, but actual prints tell the real story. I put the H2C through three challenging multicolor tests that really showcase what this system can do. 
First up was the Borderlands Ripper Mask that absolutely destroyed my expectations. This was literally the first print on this machine right behind a Benchy. This thing took two days and five hours on the H2C. When I ran the same model through the slicer for a traditional H2S setup, it estimated four days and one hour. That's almost double the print time from the purge waste and material swaps. Now for the big reveal, how much material I saved on this print. Any guesses? 853 grams of filament poop saved. That's almost an entire freaking roll, people. But here's what really blew my mind. The automated hot end assignment algorithm. I didn't have to manually figure out which colors I should go with and which hot ends. The software analyzed the model, looked at how frequently each color appeared and when the transitions happened, then automatically optimized the filament to the hot end relationships. It's like having a really smart assistant that understands your print better than you do. Now, before we move on to the next prints, let's take a closer look at this beautiful print. The color combination that I chose absolutely killed it here. I had a few layer shifts towards the top, but they're very minor and honestly not super noticeable. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like that color scheme that I used for this mask. The second test was where things got pretty wild. I printed a hand-painted witch model that had over 1,500 color changes. 1,500. On a traditional AMS printer, that would have generated a mountain of waste. There is no way I would ever consider printing that model. With the H2C, pff, hold my beer. Zero poop waste. Every single filament change was a clean, hot end swap instead of pushing material through and purging waste. This is where you really appreciate why Bamboo avoided cables and pogo pins. 1500 swaps in a single print. Traditional contact based systems would have shown wear with just thousands of cycles. The contactless design means these hot ends can swap tens of thousands of times without any degradation in connection quality or reliability. The witch print also highlighted something interesting about planning. I actually didn't have anything holding me back when painting this in Bamboo Studio. When painting multicolored dragons, I always had to tell my daughter, we need to be careful on how many colors we choose and where to place the colors or else we'll have a mountain of waste. She learned to just take more simplified dragons, such as this black and white dragon. Call me cheap, but I'm also thinking about the environment with this hobby. The witch print saved a total of 504 grams of filament compared to my H2S. We're talking about a half a roll of filament. Come on everyone, these are just insane numbers here. My third test was a Mario Kart crown, though I have to be honest here, the creator actually broke this model up, so all I printed with the H2C was the base with the Mario Kart logo. I ended up using my H2S and my P2S to complete this model quicker so that I could show you it today. Still an amazing print, and if the creator is watching this, please reach out to me. I would love to get a complete AMS version to print and truly show off the H2C capabilities. The fourth test was super fun, a Grinch dog reindeer Christmas print. First, I created a custom base for this one and actually installed it as a hood ornament on my Polaris Razor. If you're not familiar with what a Razor is, it's just an off-road vehicle. They're very popular where I live and many people enjoy trail rides throughout the area. So what better way to get into the holiday spirit than with a custom hood ornament? The multicolor details came out crisp and clean. I used the default 0.2 millimeter layer height. This print saved a total of 227 grams of filament poop, which is great considering how small this print actually is. Let me break down the math on all the filament savings between the models because the numbers are pretty staggering. On just three prints, the mask, the witch, and the Grinch dog, I saved a total of 1,584 grams. That is roughly one and a half rolls of filament. If we call the average cost of a roll about $15, then we can easily say I saved $22 of filament in just three projects. Now let's multiply that across just dozens of projects, and the H2C starts to pay for itself very quickly. If I were to print 10 Ripper masks, I would save over $130 in filament alone. And that doesn't even include the 20 days of print time saved either. The cost analysis is interesting when you look at the bigger picture. The H2C combo runs at $23.99. Yeah, less than you thought, I'm sure. Compared to the $19.99 for the H2D combo and $14.99 for the H2S combo. So you're paying $900 more than the H2S or $600 more than the H2D. But if you're doing regular multicolor work, that $900 in savings on the H2S gets eaten up very fast. Now let's talk about the noise situation since I've been running this in my office. It's definitely louder than an A1. We all know the A1 is super quiet. And the biggest annoyance with the H2C is during the hot end swaps. But that's still manageable even for phone calls. 
the induction heating creates a brief humming sound and the mechanical swap has some clunking noises, but we're talking seconds at a time, not a continuous noise. The H2C prints exactly like the H2S. It likes to wobble a lot, but this is definitely the direction that Bamboo Lab has taken with their machines, and it honestly doesn't really bother me. The build volume trade-offs are pretty reasonable. You lose about 15 millimeters in width and 10 millimeters in the height compared to the H2S. So you go from 340 by 320 by 340 down to 320 by 320 by 325 millimeters. For most prints, that's not going to be a deal breaker, especially when you consider the massive material that you're saving. What really impressed me across all the tests was the consistency. Every hot end swap was clean, every temperature reached exactly where it needed to be, and the automatic calibration kept everything perfectly aligned. This isn't a prototype system that works sometimes. It's a production ready technology that is the culmination of over three years of R&D and it just delivers on its promise. Now let's be completely honest about the trade-offs here because no printer is perfect and the H2C does have some compromises. The engineering approach of hot and only swapping is completely brilliant, but it does come with limitations. You're giving up some build volume when compared to the H2S. For most hobbyists, that won't even matter. When unboxing the H2C, I immediately noticed how surprisingly compact the Vortec changer actually is. I figured the build plate would have been much smaller than what I actually got. This printer is perfect for users who love multicolor printing but hate the waste. I'm pretty sure that's 100% of you guys watching this video right now. If you're the type who sees 500 color changes in the slicer and immediately starts looking for ways to simplify your model, the H2C eliminates the entire mental calculation. You can embrace complex multicolor designs without any guilt. It's also incredible for anyone working with expensive engineering materials where you're printing with carbon fiber reinforced filaments that cost $80 a roll. Purge waste becomes really, really expensive, really fast. Dedicated specific hot ends to specific materials means you're not contaminating expensive filaments or wasting them in printer poops. The traditional H2S still makes sense if you're primarily doing single color prints with occasional multicolor work, or if you need that extra build volume for large functional parts. The cost savings are substantial and you're still getting the same high performance printing capabilities. But if multicolor printing is a regular part of your workflow, if you're tired of feeling guilty about material waste, or if you work with expensive specialty filaments, the H2C represents a genuine breakthrough. It's not just an incremental improvement, it's a foundational rethink of how multi-material printing should work. Hey, real fast, if you wanna help the channel out and you're interested in buying the H2C, check out the affiliate link down in the description below. And again, it really helps support me. So that's the H2C. It eliminates the biggest pain point in multicolor printing through genuine engineering innovation. The Vortex system isn't just clever marketing, it's a real solution to a real problem that every multi-material printer owner faces. If you want to see the advanced Vortex setup process and how to optimize your multicolor workflows, check out my witch painting tutorial next. I walk you through how easy it is to custom paint a model and demonstrate how automatic Bamboo Studio is with setting up the filaments and sending it to the H2C for printing. If you have a favorite multicolor model, please drop a link down in the comments below. I would love to put this printer through some more fun prints. I really hope that you enjoyed this review of the new Bamboo Lab H2C and that everything was broken down for you to understand. If I miss something, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. There's a ton more content for the H2C on the way, as well as new tutorials to help you get the most out of your 3D printing. Again, my name is Nick. Hope you're having a great day and as always, happy printing.